It's NJCAA D3 World Series time again, and where else would you expect to find the MC Raptors but back at historic Granger Stadium in Kinston, North Carolina for the 2016 series. For the ninth time in the last 11 years, the Raptors are back on the national stage, and they, along with the seven other top teams in NJCAA D3 baseball, arrived on Thursday and immediately began taking part in pre-series activities and workouts. In an annual tradition on Thursday night, all the teams took part in a clinic with local Little Leaguers. The Raptors worked with the kids on how to safely warm up and stretch to get ready to play. Then they led the little guys through a series of entertaining and fun outfield drills, and I wasn't sure who enjoyed it more, the little guys or the big fellas. Friday morning, the Raptors went back to work taking batting practice and then heading back to Granger Stadium for a brisk and efficient infield and outfield workout. They look sharp, focused, determined, and ready to get things going. I thought we did pretty good. Uh, I think everyone was firing on all cylinders. We were really into it and uh, getting used to this field, so I expect nothing but the best tomorrow. Well, I think we're ready to go. I mean, we just got a couple championships under our belt already, and uh, we're getting hot at the right time, so I think we're going to be doing fine. And then Friday evening, the Raptors and the other seven teams in the field were honored at the annual welcome banquet. The guest speaker was Jerry Marin, former Major League catcher and manager. Uh, congratulations to you guys uh, to get this far. Everyone I've got had the thing right now, though, somebody's going to win this thing. And everyone I've got to have the thing that why not us? We're living in difficult times today. You people have a chance. You young people have a great opportunity. You know, it kind of scares me where the world is going today. But I think about you young people today. You're facing so many things, you have so much information, it's so easy to do the wrong thing today. You guys can think if you do the right thing, you're very, very special. So now, with all the preliminaries over with, it's time for the teams to play some ball. Here's a look at how the brackets shape up. Since it's a double elimination format, the second round matchups are dependent on first round results. So here's a look at both scenarios. The 34 and 15 Raptors will start play on Saturday night at 7.30. Their first round opponent is the Northern Essex Community College Knights from Haverhill, Massachusetts. They come in at 21 and 14, fresh off a sweep of the Region 21 tournament. So the Raptors road to the national championship begins on Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. You can follow my up to the second reports on Twitter at MC underscore Raptor Voice and then check out the highlights on YouTube after the game. For the Raptor Report, I'm Michael Brown.